Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a custom PR. Now, with this PR, I'm going to add a new section at the rightmost corner of this applet and make it behave like a scroll bar. In OpenUI, the vertical scroll bar that we had in HI mode is replaced with uh, the horizontal VCR buttons at the bottom of the applet. Now, uh, mine is a touch screen, so the buttons are not available. We have to click and uh, scroll. But uh, in a non touch environment, you see the VCR buttons here at the bottom. So instead, I'm going to make them uh, work like a vertical scroll bar here. So for this, I have uh, these three images created. One is for next record set, one is for previous record set, one is for a slider. So I'm going to place these three images here and uh, on click of these images, move the slider and align the slider based on the record count. So let's start. So for me to place something here, I need to make some room at the rightmost corner. So first I'm going to write a custom CSS to make a space of 20 pixel at the rightmost corner. You see immediately the uh, rightmost corner has 20 pixel space. This is the CSS. So after making this space, I'm going to, I have to add some extra div after this section. So for that, I have the PR so uh, this is an empty PR calling it super classes, uh, super class functions. So I'm going to start writing code in this. First, I need to show something in the UI. Add some extra uh, elements, HTML elements in the UI. So I'm going to write it in show UI method. On click of the images, so the slider, I'm going to listen and now I'm going to do some events. I have to bind events on click and on click and hold or something. So I'm going to write them in bind events function. And uh, I have the resize function also here. I, I will tell you why this is also required. So first I have the code ready. I'm going to show you what, uh, how to write this. So I'm setting the body of the table to float left. I'm going to add a section after the body and I'm going to make that section float left. I'm setting its width to 18 pixel. I'm giving it a background color. I'm setting its height to my current height and I'm setting the slider position and the next record set image positions also. This is the show UI code here so basically i'm going to add one more div section here make this uh, list section float left this section float left set the width set the background color set its height so let me see what happens after this code is run So it created a div, but its height is too long. The height of this div is too long, even though we are setting it here. So I looked at uh, the parent class uh, that is JQ grid renderer class. First it is uh, get, it is creating the div with bigger height and in resize function, it is resetting it back to the normal height of the record set. So I'm extending the resize function also here and uh, doing some logic here so that my div sets up to the, the same height as the body. 
so what I'm going to do is after the parent classes resize is called the applet gets shrinked to the 10 records record set height and after that action I'm going to get the height of the section and uh, going to uh, set it to my uh, sections height so I'm doing the same code even in show UI but in show UI the jqgrid renderer itself is building the applet with uh, larger height and uh, doing the resizing in this function so I, I have to do it again here so after this I'm going to reload the let and see that the div fits to the section here So now you see it, the section is right at this rightmost corner. So, and we have to assign a, uh, assign events to click or click and hold of this button. So right now it is doing nothing. See, so you see you are at 157th record. You don't see any action going on on click. So, I'm going to add actions to these functions on bind events method. So on click, I'm going to check whether there is a next record set or a previous record set and navigate to those record sets. So this is my code. In bind events I'm going to bind a mouse down event on next record set image and previous record set image and for every thousand seconds thousand milliseconds sorry that is every one second if I click and hold it for each second it navigates to one record set so I'm calling a function actually here this uh, function and this function I'm going to check whether uh, next record set exists I'm going to check uh, whether I can invoke the methods the next record set method and uh, invoke the go to next record set function and along with that I'm going to move the slider position to top or mid section so this these two functions uh, will take care of move getting, moving to next or previous record sets. If I click on any any section in between here, it should listen to the click uh, dimensions where I clicked the section and uh, it should navigate to previous or next record set. So for that I have written this extra mouse down function. So this function gets invoked when clicked on the slider to navigate to previous and next record sets. So let me save this and reload and show you how this is going to work. So we are so I'm clicking and holding on this image. You see the record set navigations here. So I'm in the first record. If I click it, it'll take me to the next record set. If I click and hold, it'll take me to next record sets continuously. And here I have the slider at the center position and if I click beneath the slider it takes me to the next record set. If I click above it takes me to the previous record set. So I am uh, binding the click and hold event, the click event and uh, the uh, event to listen to the coordinates where I clicked anywhere in the slider. So 
this is uh, what I call a virtual slider that looks and behaves like a um, real um, vertical scroll bar. We can actually write more code uh, to set the position of this slider according to the record count. If there are, let's say, 100 records and I'm in 30th record, it will measure the position from this to this and set it. Even those events can be handled and they can be uh, even they can be addressed in this case. So I hope you like this the virtual scroll bar here so let me know your thoughts thank you